Mick, your dad, Hep, was a Hall of Fame coach at LaSalle High School in Cincinnati, scout for the Braves in baseball. What did you learn from him? As you know, my father's a very humble guy for as successful as he was in his two sports careers. Uh, and you realize that uh, nobody cares at the end of the day. So be a good person uh, and don't get caught up in, in, in who you are. So that, that was, and he was around all uh, guys like, like him. But uh, big advantage to grow up doing something. So, you know, when you're in sixth grade and you know to attack an odd numbered zone with an e <laughs> even numbered front. <laughs> I still didn't know that. But yeah. <laughs> you think it's just everybody knows these things, you, you know, and making sure that you run your hands into the ball when a team's pressing you. <laughs> you know, you're teaching your teammates in fourth grade, you got to meet the ball because I heard it all night every night. You sit, you know, and I used to have a little scouting notebook right. when I was a little kid and I'd go scouting uh, with my father for high school games or, or, or professional baseball because it does translate right. when you're looking at character and makeup when you're doing the recruiting that we do. I remember when you were a high school assistant coach at Woodward High School in Cincinnati. Did a great job there. All right, but when you had the big game Xavier in Cincinnati, you're sitting on the floor in Cincinnati <laughs> and every time the Bearcats got a big lead, you're pointing at me, yelling at me, and you're <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> I grew up a Bearcat. <laughs> Although I used to get in trouble, as you know, with Coach Huggins, he said, well, how, how come, what are you doing calling Pete Gillen? <laughs> Is we used to trade secrets on scouting because it, it, that's why I used to be in his office with my dad. Yeah, you know, so I, I go way back with Xavier with Coach yeah. Stack, trying yeah. to hire my father. Did he really? How about, How about that? that? Yeah, that was a way great back coach. in the day. Coach uh, Wainwright was on the staff. Jerry's a great guy. I great used to people. run around his office as a little kid. So, but uh, I'm a Bearcat. I understand, and they're a great program. Now I understand you love to play golf. You're roughly a 14 handicap, but really you're like an eight. So you sandbag some of these. Bearcat fans, why do you do that? Take some of their money. Well, as you know, bo boosters are meant to donate. So <laughs> you got to make sure they're donating, and especially if you're going to play with Rick Pitino, he's got way more money than all of us. So, <laughs> you, you know, so as he's masquerading at a 16. Yeah, he's a big sandbag. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, yeah, he's the worst. You know? I, he's got sand in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you love the horses. When did you get interested in the horses? So my father was a high school coach, and as you know from your time in Cincinnati, the high school coaches are all teachers as well, like you used to be back in Nazareth, right? Yep, long time ago. So they all worked at the racetrack in the summer selling tickets. That was their summer job. I see. So that's where I grew up in the summers my entire life, playing basketball at Coney Island next door. How about that? So it's exciting. Actually, I'm a part owner and a horse. Madam Dance a lot. That's great. No, I was going to ask your advice on the Breeders' Cup because I pick horses that follow other horses. So I got, <laughs> I got somebody who knows something about the horses. All my friends give me these things and we go down, we go down hard, you know. Now, you have a lot of pride in your life, right? Basketball, University of Cincinnati, but your daughter is the real pride of your life. Tell us a little bit about your daughter. You know, there's nothing better than that. And especially when you have a daughter, it softens you up a little bit. So my players love when she shows up at practice. <laughs> they think it's going to be a much easier day. <laughs> nice Nobody's going to get nailed at. They say, oh, Sammy's here. <laughs> like, I see them start, they're, 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 Sammy's here. Look, Sammy's here. <laughs> they, they think it's going to be a great day. But then she puts on her headphones that I tell her to wear <laughs> while she watches a movie on an iPad, and they're back in trouble again. <laughs> so, but, you know, it's, it's a great thing, Coach. Being a parent is the, the blessing uh, that we all have in life. I, I, and it changed me as a person. Uh, but the problem is she's getting older. They grow up. She's 10 now, so I'm counting with things. When she's, when she's 14, I'm not going to be cool. I'm going to lose my cool You're factor. out. She's I'm out. Friends, yeah. I'll become, I tell her I'm going to become an ATM. That's all. An ATM <laughs> and a taxi, right? <laughs>